Hey guys, this is Imran from Imstech and the objective of this tutorial is to learn how to use formulas to perform calculations and also understand why we use cell addresses within formulas. And this tutorial is for absolute beginners. This is I'm assuming no prior knowledge at all. So this is the first tutorial you can say if you want to learn about spreadsheets. Okay. So first of all let's look at the basics of what a spreadsheet looks like on a spreadsheet you will get the name bar at the top left you will get a formula bar you will get columns so the columns are a b c d e f g and so on and you will get rows and they are numbered one to however many and each of these squares they are called cells okay and i'm just going to be showing you guys an example of a spreadsheet so i've got one spreadsheet right here and this is a spreadsheet for t-shirt sales so you can see over here you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday you've got a different t-shirt sizes so you've got extra small all the way to extra large and I've got right here uh, the different sales so on Monday I sold 87 and so on on Sunday I sold that many and so on so you get the idea and I've actually not worked out the total at the moment and we're going to do that in a second and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to be talking about operators so when we're calculating our sums we use the minus sign for the minus sign the addition sign which is the plus sign for divide we use the slash sign for multiplication we use the asterisk sign so these two are obvious but the other two aren't so obvious there is one golden rule for writing our formulas and that is that every formula starts with an equal sign so an excel formula or any spreadsheet formula we start off with equal so equals three plus two rather than using three plus two and then equals because we want the spreadsheet to give us the answer we put the equal sign right at the front okay so we're just going to be going through a few examples and there's two examples right here so I want my formula I want my spreadsheet to calculate 3 plus 4 or 3 minus 4 3 divided by 4 and 3 multiplied by 4 and I'm going to be using two different methods the first method is non cell referencing and the second method is cell referencing and the second method is a lot better and you'll see the advantage in a second so we just go ahead and type in a uh, formula so I'm going to like I said the golden rule start off with a equal sign and I'm going to type in a s 3 and then because this is subtract I'm going to do minus and 4 I'm going to hit the enter key and it's given me my answer so I'm going to do the same again but this time for plus 3 plus 4 hit the enter sign equals 3 divide by 4 and hit the enter key again equals 3 this time it's the asterisk sign which is shift and 8 and then 4 and hit the enter key so it's given me my answers now if I go ahead and I make a change to the 3 so if I change all my 3's now to 5 an update has not happened at all this is still calculating 3 minus 4 so the second method we're going to be using is cell referencing now each of these cells that we talked about earlier on has a cell address so this the address of this cell is a combination of the row and the column so this is D and 8 so D 8 so the address for this cell is D 8 and we can see it in the name bar right here D 8 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the address for this B 8 and also C 8 and I'm going to add them together or multiply or, or minus them together so equals B 8 and then subtract it by C8 eight. 8 and I'm going to hit the enter key so that's given me my answer and now if I go ahead and change the 3 to a 5 and hit the enter key hopefully this should update our record and that's for gone from minus 1 to plus 1 which is a 1 okay so I used a method where I actually typed things in manually and that what happens with that is there's room for error what I'm going to be showing you guys is this thing called pointing so I'm going to hit the equals key now what I'm going to do this time is with my mouse 
I'm going to click on the cell. I'm not going to type in with the keyboard. I'm just going to click with the mouse. Now this is called pointing. So I've clicked with the mouse. It's pulled the cell address and it's put it inside. And I'm going to hit type in plus and I'm going to hit the second click on the second cell which is C9 and I'm going to hit the enter key. So I'm going to try pointing and see if this is much more of an efficient way. And this is for multiply and the asterisk sign and the second one. So that is the use of pointing. So now if I go ahead and change all of these to fives, you can see everything has updated. So you can see the advantage of using cell referencing. So what we're going to be doing is using cell referencing. But before we go and actually combat our task, which is to work out the total for this, I'm going to be showing you guys quickly how the format printing method works. So okay, so I've got one, two and three right here and what if I wanted a list of a hundred numbers or at least 25 numbers I, I could actually manually go in and type in four five and so on but there's an easier method what I've done is I've typed in one two and three so I've highlighted over them and right over here where you can see in the corner of the cell is where my mouse or my cursor has turned to an X or a cross what I can do is click and drag all the way down and you can see it's following a pattern so I can actually pull all the way down to 25 so that's quite a cool way of actually dragging our and it saves us time and it's more of an efficient way I'm going to show you guys that over here I've got 2, 4 and 6 and show you guys that it follows a consistent pattern what it's done is 2, 4, 6, 8 so that's given me my 2 times table you can see so over here if I've got all 1's what will happen if I wanted a list of all 1's I can just click and drag all the way down and it's just giving me a list of ones. We can do that for Monday and Tuesday as well. So if I wanted days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way down to Sunday and it starts back over again. Same thing for the days of the months in the year. And if I type it in Jan, Feb in a so short form with a lowercase j and a lowercase f, you can see it follows a cons consistent pattern so that's quite a cool trick for you guys so okay now we're going to be going and using what we've learnt and there's one thing I'm not covered and that is formulas so what I'm going to do is just show you guys really quickly the old method that we've learnt so I'm going to type I want to work out the total for this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press plus use my pointing method plus and plus clicking and and you can see I've got a really long formula. I'm going to hit the enter key right here and what that's done is that's worked it out for us but it's not the best me best way. One better way is using functions. So we're going to be using the sum function. So this is sort of a way I showed you guys a really r long formula and with that there's a potential for error. We're going to be using a function called the sum function and just something really quickly for you guys to remember is we we're going to be using the data range and I'm going to be talking about the data range. So the data range is from this, the first cell all the way to the last cell and it's split with a colon. So that's the colon there and this is what our function will look like. So not to worry if you don't understand and I'm just going to be going through it practically. I'm going to be typing this in. So I'm going to type in equals sum and I'm going to be opening my bracket and I'm going to be clicking on my first cell address so I want to calculate everything from there all the way to there so from B4 all the way to G4 so click on G sorry B4 put my call on it in and then type in G4 and I'm gonna hit sorry finish close up my brackets and I'm going to hit the enter key so that's quite a cool way of doing this another way I can do this is press equals sum and then rather than typing in, going to be using the pointing, me pointing method, I'm just going to highlight over the whole area that I want to. So click and drag the whole section so I can work out how many small t-shirts I've sold. I'm going to hit the enter key this time and you can see that's worked that out for us. Okay, this figure does not look right to me so I'm just going to be changing that. Hit the enter key and you can see it's updated that for us automatically. So equals and then sum, open my bracket and then close my bracket. Now remember what we learnt earlier about copying over a pattern. So you can see there's a pattern here where we've got sum and we've got B4 to G4 and on the second line we've got B5 to G5 on the third line we've got 
G B6 to G6, what we can do is highlight over our first three. And by the way, it doesn't need to be hi highlighted over the first three. It could be two or it could be one. But I like to use the first three. And I'm going to be going on the, the right bottom corner where we've got the X. And I'm going to just drag over. And what that's done is it saved us a bit of time. So we can see it's B7. And over here, it's B8. So that's quite a cool trick to learn. Okay, so what we can do is equals sum, open the bracket, and then just highlight over, close the bracket, hit the enter key. Now what I'm going to do is use the same trick that we used earlier. This time I'm going to drag across rather than down, and we can see that we've got our formulas done for us automatically using the intellect or the IA, artificial intelligence of the spreadsheet. So okay, D4 to D8 and E and so on. So what I'm going to be doing is working out the total. So I'm just going to be using another th cool trick for you guys. So if I click on formulas right here, there's this one formula called the auto sum. So it automatically calculates the sum. So rather than typing in manually, and this doesn't always work, but it works most of the time. You can trial this out, trial and error sort of thing, but majority of the time it's fine. You can click the auto sum button right here and it'll be different depending on what version of Excel or what spreadsheet you use it may or may not exist but this auto sum for this uh, office Excel is quite cool so if I press the auto sum it's done sum H4 to H9 so we can see it's given as H4 to H9 but there's nothing in H9 so I can actually manually click and drag over all the way to H8 and press the enter key so that's quite a cool thing so we've covered cell referencing we've covered pointing and we've covered the sum function there are many different functions like max function min function the average function and we'll cover that in our second tutorial but for now I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you guys have learned something make sure you comment rate subscribe and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and that way this will rate higher on the YouTube video and maybe I'll get a few more views so I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial make sure you subscribe and take care